Welcome to Samutsari, Conversations with Mimi, a weekly podcast by Dinosocial, also a member of the Guerrilla Podcast Syndicate. Samutsari is where we can show that ordinary people do extraordinary things. Tune in to be entertained and to learn something new with your host, Mimi Lorilla. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Samutsari Conversations with Mimi. Ito po ang inyong host, si Mimi Laurilia. And meron tayong special na co-host for today and might be for a little while because for season of 2024, makakasama ko ang ating kasama ngayon, si Noel Bautista, sa aming uh, parang season uh, collaboration na uh, parang kwentuhan sidekick. So kaming dalawa ang mag-sidekick. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Noel to the show. Hi Noel and greet our Thank you very listeners much, Mimi, and viewers. And we, yeah, I'm honored and I really appreciate your taking time to invite me and allow me to contribute to your fabulous show that's full of information and help self-help really for our yeah. kabayan, not only kabayan, and I'm amazed at the uh, people that you reach out to mm-hmm. and i'm really really glad na i can at least be a part of it thank yes. so much excited ako noel kasi matagal na natin pinag-uusapan to eh but, but for oh some my. reason hindi nagkakatugma ang ating mga landas and finally <laughs> nangyari na so i really want this episode to be more about introducing you to the people that support me in Samutsari Conversations with Mimi. Kailangan ipakilala kita para talaga marandaman nila bakit ito kwentuhang sidekick and what do we aim to do uh, during the time that we are together for at least a season. And who knows what will happen, baka magtuloy-tuloy pa to. So, um, very, be- very brief overview lang. Sino ba si Noel? Ako muna. Ako muna bibigyan ng konti intro, tas dagdagan mo. I met okay. you well in New Zealand more than 10 years ago because we were both Wellingtonians then. Yes. Um, and you know that we have a group in Kasagip sa New Zealand that we want yes. to reach out to Filipinos who might uh, need some help or need some support. And you ask us for advice uh, sa situation mo noon. And you're still there and you're still in New Zealand. So. I have great faith that whatever it is na yung mga challenges mo noon, ay na-overcome mo na. But before anything else, I know that you are also an avid writer, which is another common thing that we have. And, uh, you know, it's not just writing for self-expression, but writing in the Correct. form of service. So, tell me more. Doon na, ha? Yun na yung pinaka-segue ko, Noel. Ikaw na ang magsabi sa ating mga supporters, subscribers, kung sino si Noel at how you are the most appropriate person to be with me in this collaboration. Collaboration. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, I, I'm, what can I say? But uh, I re- I'm really honored by the things that you just said. But what I want to do is tell you, now because of Kasagip, which literally means uh, helping hand, yeah. or uh, hands helping hands, that it's the name of the group you started when you were in uh, Wellington. Na inspire mm. and and I decided to parang pay it back, pay it back uh, in my special way, in my in the way I did I could. Kasi nga, I don't have many skills uh, except communication, mm-hmm. communication uh, hopefully in in writing and sometimes in speaking. Ngayon, after you left uh, New Zealand. My journey continued. My migrant journey continued. I saw many people like myself na, who had fallen between the cracks, so mm-hmm. to speak. By, by, yeah. by between the cracks, I mean uh, you, you, quali- you don't qualify for this, you don't qualify for that. But you're already in New Zealand. Mm-hmm. Parang, parang, and I decided to, to learn more about these people. Not, not just Filipinos, pero karamihan kasi Pinoy. Mm-hmm. Pinoy ang, kasi alam mo, we Pinoys, we have a tendency to make do. To make, to make do meaning resilient tayo kung anong nandyan pinagtsatsaga natin. In some ways, it's a positive. In mm-hmm. other ways, it's a negative. And yeah. I use myself, I use myself as uh, an example because I didn't want to go out of my comfort zone. 
I, I, would, I had a working visa for, gosh, imagine mo, 10 years. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I I couldn't get out. I couldn't get out of uh, the the situation I was in. I couldn't become a resident. And so part of my part of my thing now, so to speak, is to find people who are in a similar situation. Mm-hmm. Especially this situation was magnified during COVID lockdown. Yeah, yun, yun, that, that's and na extend na lang siya after COVID. I'm trying right. I'm trying to 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 I'm trying to expand the way I can help the larger Filipino community. And then something happened to me. Some a personal a personal uh, I wouldn't call it a setback, mm-hmm. pero uh, I had heart surgery. Uh, and I I I had to recover for around a year. Mm-hmm. Pero in the meantime, again, nakahanap ako ng trabaho, naka, I, I had to change, I had to change locations from Wellington, Auckland, and I'm here in Auckland now, where yeah. where the Filipino community is really non-stop growing. They're amazing. The Filipino community in uh, New Zealand, they're amazing for me, huh? the base uh, nag experience ko din. I, I'm glad na very open ka sa nag experience mo, Noel, kasi parang dyan yung pinunghuhugutan mo eh, sa passion mo. Yeah, correct, to correct. Be, to be in this space. So, I think it's really just appropriate na tayong dalawa maghuntahan <laughs> on a semi-regular Tama. basis to talk about Tama. lots of different Why things, di ba? Hmm. So, this is what, that's what this theme of ours is all about. Kasi, our goal is to extend ourselves in whatever little way we can to to provide information, to help our kababayans or other people who might be in need. So, ang parang nakikita ko na trust nitong program natin is to talk about not only hot topics, but topics of interest to to the public. Like, ako natutuwa talaga ako sa'yo every time na may letter sender sa'yo at ikaw ay parang sa Kuya Eddie. Talagang hangang-hanga ako dun eh. So, I, I think sometimes, you know, we can bring that content here kasi baka may makaka-relate dun sa sitwasyon na yun yeah. at, at baka sakali na ma- ma- makapag-advise tayo sa kanila, no? Parang he said, she Correct. said, I have my own perspective. Yeah. You have your own perspective. And at the same time, we can still um, capitalize on your blog, you know, yung blog mo, yung website mo Tama. to also amplify uh, yung awareness Tama ng mga pinag-uusapan natin. Yeah. Yeah. I I'd also like to add na also the Filipino you you see the you see the same Filipino traits and character everywhere everywhere in the all over the world. Maganda sana kung kasi nandiyan ka na sa Australia ma na, na, yun nang parang yun nang parang uh, blueprint no not blueprint but yun nang basis uh, with which you with which you explain your particular migrant experience ako naman nandito ako sa New Zealand i can show you i can show you how it is here naman in comparison Correct. although i'm sure you also have a good idea dahil dito ka rin ang galing ang yeah. kay Jarvis if you don't mind transtasman na kasi we one of the first usapan yeah transtasman yeah. tayo yeah. Across the uh, ditch, sabi nga. Ac- across the ditch nga, so to speak. Pero, the, parang, instead of looking, uh, the more the more you look for, the more things change, and the more you look for differences, the more you realize that Filipinos are the same everywhere. I'm yeah. sure you know that. In, uh, you're in Melbourne right now, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero, I'm sure the cross-section or mga pinanggalingan ng Pinoy sa Melbourne, iba-iba yan. May mga galing it's sa so Middle vast. East. It's so oh, may mga galing siguro sa other migrant destinations who decided to try Australia, di ba? Meron yeah, galing sa New Zealand like yourself. That that in itself is very interesting for me, and I hope it will be to your listeners as well. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga eh, sabi ko nga when when I uh, took a break from Samutsari and uh, collaborated with my husband sa Reteronario, Retinario. ang ang focus naman namin talaga is yung mga tao na matagal na nag-abroad na hindi nakakaipon sa pumupunta yung ipon nila. At the same time, yung mga kamag-anak okay. naman nila na nasa Pilipinas, anong ginagawa nila doon sa pinapadal na ng kanilang mga kamag-anak? Correct. So marami kami Correct. mga ganong scenarios yes. na 
Tila yes, Patel. Yes. And we're not claiming to be super experts on this, that we have the solutions to everyone's problems. But in our own little way, meron naman kaming kumbaga, personal experience din na maishashare. So But just to share. give you an yes. idea, yung aming retironario challenge where 11 or 10 people have um, voluntarily joined Uh, a, a simple challenge through GCash pa nga eh, kasi it's a very low entry uh, into the world of micro um, microfinancing in, yeah in, in investing um, they found that it was very enlightening dahil kumita naman silang lahat we we delivered on our promise and we did not disappoint tapos na uh, nagparaffle pa nga kami ng extra money para <laughs> ma- yung maingganyo pa sila to top up their investment no tapos so, um Oo, tapos sabi nga namin, kung sakasakali na yung in-invest nyo, hindi kayo kumita, ipatatapo pa namin yun para lang bumalik sa sa expected Marami. amount. Para lang talagang masabi nila na, Ipa- oh, may mga madidevelop sila. sila na skills. So anyway, skills. Um, going back naman dito sa focus natin, um, can you give me just a little bit of um, an idea? Kamusta na ba talaga ang buhay ng mga Pinoy sa New Zealand ngayon? Kasi ang next episode natin, this is something like a heads up. Uh, I want yep. you to share with a, a recent experience ng mga Pinoy doon. Pero in general, sa tagal mo na na nasa New Zealand, ano mga nakikita mm. mo ng kakaiba sa mga Pilipino ngayon compared sa mga Pilipino nung bagong salta ka pa? Over the years, what have you observed about that, how that, different it is a, now? Yeah. That's a good question, Mimi, kasi when you say Pinoy kasi or Filipino, uh, as opposed to other migrants in New Zealand, they're, they're usually skilled. Mm. Mga skilled yan. They're not, they didn't go through the student visa pathway. They didn't go through the investment pathway. Lahat yan skilled. I, uh, primarily, I, I don't want to say this uh, in, a, in a funny way, pero... Walang pera eh. So, mm. talagang dumating yan as an OFW. Mm-hmm. So, over the years, ang, one of the trends I've seen is marami nagiging entrepreneur dito. They, 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 they start their own little businesses. Uh, some, a lot of them cater to the Filipino community, but others branch out as well. Nakikita mm. mo yan sa mga organic, organic markets. Sa mga, is that what it's called? Yung mga weekend markets. Yeah. Nakikita mo sila sa mga online businesses nila, which as long as you have a product and as long as you're willing to market it online, you you, you have a platform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So to answer your question, that is the, one of the biggest trends I've seen. Although skill tayo, you still, you still see the dominant skill sets like nurses, caregivers, scaffolders, uh, IT, IT people, uh, builders, carpenters, joiners. Pero nakikita mo, that those people who have been here a while are probably asking themselves, how long am I, how long am I gonna do this? Yeah. How long am I gonna, di ba? How, how long am I gonna depend on my muscle memory before mm-hmm. before I start, uh, you know, feeling, feeling my age? Mm-hmm. So, that's, mm-hmm. that's one. And another thing is that Uh, we're in the midst of an upheaval dahil yung nagkaroon kasi ng parang break in the cycle eh. Yung, yung labor government na, na-extend yung, yung term nila ni, ni Jacinda dahil nga because of the, the, the lockdown, COVID outbreak, pandemic, ngayon nag-national. So uh, as expected, they will undo everything. Yun yan naman talaga, diba? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm neither national nor labor, pero alam ko, I know what's gonna, I, we know what's gonna happen. So, mm, you predict expected, already diba? yeah, the, what's yeah. gonna be the uh, well, outcome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, alam mo, you, you can see, you can see what's gonna happen. Lahat ng mga welfare state, so to use, to use uh, an old term na yung nanny state na lang yan. Nanny state uh, policies ng labor, matatanggal lahat yan. And okay. not just with Pinoy's, but everyone is going to be affected by that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The economy, the jobs, everyone is going to be affected by that. So that's another answer to your question. Mm-hmm. I think in a small, in, in, para kami malit na Australia eh. Yan, uh, whatever is happening in Austra- in New Zealand, siguro ganun-ganun din sa... We're more magnified. 
Exactly. Yes, no, it's a little bit more economy. complex here, Noel. It's a little bit more complex because remember, there's so many states with different um, state government yes. policies. So we don't Correct. necessarily come together with the same, you know, Correct. the, uh, the way naman, that I, we do things. I, I don't pretend to understand then uh, uh, the Australian universe. Madali, man. In a way, parang mas madaling intindihin ng New Zealand eh, maliit ang New Zealand. Correct, parang, correct. Yan. So, yan nga, so, hindi ko alam kung ma... Uh, because I'm, I'm so used to the vastness of Australia now, I'm not tama. sure if I can shrink back into the microscope that is... <laughs> <laughs> correct. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, see, I see what you mean. It's something like coming from Wellington, tapos nag, nag Melbourne ka which is probably five times bigger parang yeah ganun, it's no? probably five times bigger than the whole of New Zealand <laughs> correct oh ang laki ng eh, Melbourne pa lang yan no? yeah yeah Pero, imagine al- if it's the mo, whole country o yung mga perennial perennial uh, issues ng Filipino community to go back to 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 you know hindi nagbabago yun eh kasi ang Pinoy like uh, Ang Pinoy, napaka-regional. Yung regionalism ng Pinoy. Kailangan mga uh, Ilocanos versus mm. Sahaya, Kapampangan mm-hmm. versus Tagalog. Hindi nawawala yan. Every year, it, every year, you will see it come out in one form or another. Whether it's in sports or uh, uh, organizations or even beauty contests. Makikita, mm. makikita mo yan. Uh, it keeps, it just repeats. Yeah, yeah, that, that's enough. Pero uh, because ang tagal nung ang tagal nung last na to, last na to before before I return the floor to you ha. Uh, nagkaroon ng nagkaroon ng uh, nagkaroon ng backlog during the lockdown. Ngayon is the 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 flood nagdagsaan na uli ang mga pagdating ng Pinoy. And and it's I'll, I'll give you a small anecdote, a very short anecdote. My wife you haven't Hopefully, you remember her. She, she now works in a Western Union kiosk. Okay. They, they change forex sila. That, that's always been her her thing. Sabi niya, based on, based on transactions alone, niya, hindi, hindi niya maintindihan where the Filipinos are coming from. Niya, uh, yung, yung transactions, uh, ang dami-daming Pinoy. They either send money, change money, uh, uh, or, or re- return send the, the money that they earn lahat pinapadala nila sa Pilipinas pambayad ng utang padala sa, padala sa pamilya padala sa mga kung sino-sino and the ano they can't stop they can't uh, they can't close their doors soon enough every day dahil sobra wow. sobrang wow. dami ng yan that's, that's my answer to you dahil as in Melbourne I'm sure <laughs> hindi hindi mo matatapos ang ang Filipino diaspora. Yeah, yeah, for ito. sure. Alam mo nakakatuwa no? Kaya nga sabi ko this is a good introduction to our kwentuhan for this season because there's so many things na mapapagkwentuhan natin about New Zealand, Australia and about Filipinos in general. So yung mga topics na ini-introduce natin sa kanila ngayon, parang it's just a scratch in the surface of what's there to to come, you know. So I really uh, encourage our our listeners and and viewers to contribute then to our discussion. So if they have like uh, a topic that they have in mind for us to talk about, uh, we're very eager to research more on that topic or dwell on that topic. Um, we invite people to guest on our show as well. For example, may mga popular ka na mga uh, business people dyan sa New Zealand. We'll probably invite them here or like me, anybody oh, who uh, is of uh, awesome. interest. Diba? Yeah. So there's so I many have, things that I we can do here. I already have several names in mind. Oh, very good. So, ano, yeah. i, mm. ano na natin sila, i-line up na natin sila line para na mas natin, magiging no. uh, flavorful ang ating usapan. So, um, Noel, I'm really, really excited to work alongside with you dito sa ating kwentuhan sidekick for our uh, 2024 Samut Sari Conversations with Mimi so uh, podcast. Me. Um, just uh, help me out. Ang ating Gmail that we we use for when people want to contact us is samutsaripodcast at gmail.com. Yung po ang, you can reach me and Noel from that Gmail. But at the same time, Noel has his own blog. 
So if ever you need uh, naman to reach out to Noel, that's where you can find him. And at the same time, uh, people don't know that we are on Spotify as well. So if uh, people want to also listen to us but don't necessarily want to see us, uh, baka hindi sila naalim sa ating pagmumukha, eh, pwede namang makikita sa naman. bosses natin. Yeah. But I reassure them that we really don't bite, we are friendly, we're just really ordinary people like you are na nagkataon lang na nagkaroon tayo ng hilig sa online platform. So with that, we Yeah. With that, well, hanggang dito na lang muna tayo. We'll see them in the next episode. Bigyan mo naman kami ng teaser. Ano yung topic natin for our next episode? Our teaser is how the Filipino community in Auckland made Christmas, saved Christmas for 750 kabayan who lost their jobs. Okay. Oh, huwag mo muna. Ha? Just cliffhanger muna tayo. Babalik tayo sa ating <laughs> next episode. Okay. So, hanggang dito na lang Thank po, you, Noel. Mimi. Please do the honors of uh, saying goodbye for our first episode and I'll close the show. Maraming salamat. If this is uh, how our first season will look like, uh, I have a lot more surprises for you, Mimi and his, her sidekick, Noel. Thank you very much. Okay, Maraming and ako naman po. po. Thank you, thank you, Noel. I'm excited to have you here. Welcome to this home. Uh, this is your home. Mi casa, uh, ano ba yun sa kasabihan nila? Mi casa, su casa. Es tu casa. Oh, yun. Gracias, senorita. Yeah, okay. So, uh, <laughs> see you next time, everybody. And thank you, goodbye thank for you. Now. If you find value in this episode, make sure you like and subscribe to be notified of new releases. If you have any questions or suggestions, please reach out to Gorilla Podcast or send us an email at mimi at dinosocial.com. Spread the word and don't forget to tune in next time.